fucking pulls. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, you're good. All right, so uh, Overland started in a side stack, ran a set play, ripped it deep. It's pretty well designed. Hard to defend. Oh my goodness. All right, it looks like Akron is going to start off in a horizontal. Gets a nice cross cut. Another upper liner here. Ooh, tries to go inside, unable to connect, tough throw. Uh, Oberlin has a chance, and it looks like they're going to set Vert. Their stack is slightly shifted to the four side. Gives them a bigger, bigger eye line for a break. Oh, and a, a quick turn by Oberlin. Morgan to pick up. Still horizontal for Akron. Nice around break. Ooh. Cut was just a little bit late on that break side. Looking for a reset. Oh, just out of his hands. There they are. Nice little give and go from the hammer set. And now, ooh, a nice cross field break. I don't think he's in. Oh, maybe he is. Okay, that's a break. All right, still uh, horizontal for Akron. Uh, a lot of contact on the cut. Right. It looks like from the smiles, it's going to be a uh, no contest. That's a, a good move by Bill. He just kind of put his body right to where the disc was going, boxed out his defender, had to go through his back to try and get to the disc. Ooh, nice D on the under. Uh, looks like we have an injury. Pop a shoulder out? I'm not sure. <coughs> uh, maybe not. Nope. Quick, just right away. Akron was not ready. Great pull from Overland. Looks like Akron has switched to Vert. Looking for his reset. Just has to whip it at all times. Both Akron offensive players went strike, wasn't there. Oberlin with another break opportunity. Open side, wide open. Good swing. Using a lot of space. Pick was called. That's going to go back. Yeah, they were definitely in the, definitely in the way. Oberlin does a good job of using space. Let's see what they do here. They have a lot of space on that break side. They like to throw that inside break. There's great defense from Akron. Overland doesn't manage to get it all the way around. Oh, nice, nice big swing. Can't capitalize though. Now they're going for the strike. Good coverage. Great. Oh, wow. Really good D from Akron. But unfortunately, I have to throw a completion. Yeah. Looks like Akron, wow. Akron just got a couple subs and one of the guys that just showed up late dropped the pull. Okay, so this gives Oberlin an end zone set opportunity here. Uh, looks like they're set vert with three handlers out. And the, uh, the defensive player just stumbled and got the easy score on the first. Break from Bruce. 
Cruz with a great first side push. Gets it just back even. Fourth side. Getting a little bit of flow now. Great around break. Unable to continue. Good reset. Great space. This looks much better than previous possessions. Nice reset, nice and easy round. Doesn't continue though. I think he might have missed an opportunity there. Pretty good gainer. Really, really bump and run there. That was good D. Good D. Forced a really tight throw that, that made him have no angle at it. Vert set again. Great continue. Oh, wow. Just over his head, but he grabs it. Nice layout grab. Right down the line. Wow. Great lead force. That's, and that's just with power to space. That's a nice throw. Yeah. Oh, but he dropped it. That's a really good throw. All right. Akron gets a gift here. Still horizontal from Akron. Ooh, no movement early. Good break. Good reset. Ooh, no break cut there. He had him too. Great to the four side. Looks for the space. He's got a guy. Just outside the end zone, see if they can execute in the short space, and they do with a strike. Nice, that puts Akron on the board. All right, Akron on defense now. Looks like we got a vert set. And Ooh, nice good. Looks like they're just doing some four side chisel. Just a lot of four side chisel here. Yep, and that's what happens. You run out of space there. That's why you gotta get a dump every, while, every once in a while. Reset the disc to the middle of the field. Makes those cuts a lot easier. It gives you a lot more time, a lot more space to put the disc to your receiver. Um, I don't, okay, it's a vert set. They, they set up horizontal and they got vert. And that's a great call from the handler. Just was a high stall count, didn't have anything at all, boosted it. They didn't get a call early enough for what their set was gonna be. And that's a rip to a lot of space. And a great poach from the Akron defender to help out. That's really good. That's what they needed on that O point, to be honest. Ooh, nice, run. nice run through D. Went for the quick hitter and missed it. As the greatest. <laughs> and he tries to grace it, but no luck. Uh, they're, they're really not getting enough early move. Oh, wow. Same guy, I think, ran run through D, maybe. I, it's hard. I can't remember who did it last time. They're just beating him to the disc right now. Uh, look for an inside break here. Yep. That's super obvious. I will say this game has been a little bit slower paced than the other ones we've seen. Last game, wow, they have a they had a huge coach and they just couldn't find him. That's short, and it gets popped up and caught. That's just unfortunate for Overland. Ends up being lucky for Akron a missed throw. Try to squeeze into an inside window. It kind of looks like Akron's going strike a little too much. Oberlin's sitting on strike, kind of waiting for him to go there. All right, Akron has been able to stop the four side looks this point so far. They've gotten two good defensive stops there on the four side. Forces a high throw, and they miss it. So I'd like to see Akron move the disc on the break side a little more. They're, they're kind of going to the four side honey hole here, and they've already had a couple mistakes from it. You know, I mean, that one you don't say is a mistake on a four side look, but you know, it's just, they haven't been able to connect on a lot of stuff.
All right, so again, Oberlin in that vert stack. It looks like it's it's pretty dead center. They were shifting it to the four side a little bit, but now they, they've kind of come back to that traditional. And they just go straight out of Huck. Good read from the Oberlin offense for the score. That was mushroom. So one thing I, I've noticed so far is every single time that Oberlin gets the disc, they seem to know what the call is. Whether it's just they're going to flow their offensive from a certain set, or if they have a set call, you know. Every time they get the disc, whether it's on O or D, whereas Akron does not seem to be like that. They, they don't know if it's vert or host act sometimes. They don't have a set call. They don't have a set flow. It's kind of just a mishmash almost. And that, that could be them not having a, a good call or or like an echo on the line of what the call is, or their players just not feeling confident in knowing what the play is. That point again is another, you know, they, they didn't seem like they had a, a sense of where they were going. It was kind of just throwing bodies at the four side consistently. Wow, that's, that's just beautiful, beautiful space. All right, so we've seen a vert set the last couple times from Akron. Oberlin has really been hustling down in the polls, but we do see a, a change. Uh, I think a call was made. I don't know what. <laughs> so a uh, pick was called. Uh, we, we did see Eckerd switch to a host stack this time. It looks like they got a, a cut from the handler set for a deep. Traditionally, you want that cut coming from the, the off handler. In this format, with a smaller field, it's it's probably okay spacing wise. But nice cut from Christian there up the line. So now this time, Akron is the one hammering it down the four sideline. There's the nice around. Oh yes, he caught it. Another good catch. Oh wow, inside break. Jeez. Oh, just a couple bad throws in a row. Finally caught up to him. That's that's that press when you know you you see something that's barely open. And you just kind of tighten up a little bit and don't make a nice easy throw. Inside break again from Oberlin. Wow, to nice space. Let's see if they can find it. Wow, great box out, but Oberlin almost makes a play on that right at the line. That's good space, but Oberlin's on the on the hunt. Great D from them, and they quickly transition, which is great. Oh wow, a great cut to a great throw, and that guy's tall for the score. Fading away. Nice catch from John. Good dump. Uh, they're they're kind of clogging the fourth side. Oh, that's unfortunate. Boost. Okay, no call. I thought there might have been a call, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it was good pressure. The Akron defender actually started falling over. I think he would have had a really easy, clean play on the disc if he would have stayed on his feet. Um, the Oberlin guy couldn't get it regardless, but. Ooh. Man, John almost boxed him totally out of the play, but he had to slow down to kind of do that move, so. All right, good mark from John there. Stopped that inside initial break and the around, but just one swing to one cutter on the four side. Puts him right outside. Let's see if they can hold the force here. They do. Wow, tough throw, but nice grab. Let's go, guys! How does it It's really just a line. Jacob, 
Are they just messing around or is that like uh, how they work? Hey, close the stop! Alright, Yeah, Jason. 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 Yeah, Jason
And that's going to be in, yeah. Ekman has that. Oh, looks like there was a set play called. A nice wheel. And the offensive player goes up and grabs it. Nice wheel play from Ekman to score. set and a nice set play so they uh great D from Jasney so what they did is they, they went vert stack they shifted everybody from the stack to the to the side the handler the one handler remaining just sprinted downfield from the handler set it was a really good play actually um, Akron was able to see it develop good help D yeah and had help D off the back so instead of just shifting to the side, I think they need to, to shift the back two guys under first and then shift them to the side maybe. It looks like they wanted to have a set play there to the back of the stack. Oh, a lot of collision. It looks like they're both fine though. Great D from on the on the end line there, but they do get it with a give and go. That was nice. That doesn't play. Who's on the team? Why is he supposed to? Internet. He's gonna touch it last second. <laughs> they get really good. Hmm? Is that really good? Who's got the game? Yeah. No. Dan is our, our good handmate, and then we have Bruce. Bruce. And they go to the wheel play again, but this time Oberlin is on top of it. They, they didn't get fooled for the wheel for a third time. That throw is just going to have a little more air under it. I mean, his defender was way off that too. Yeah. <coughs> right, Oberlin with the vert step. There's a lot of space in their vert. A lot of space. Just easy four side, wide open. They're going to go up line. Soft play, actually, that, that could have been a D. They got pretty lucky. And then a missed throw right into an Akron defender's hands. Whew. Anytime the disc has been thrown behind their defender, I just get nervous. The horse cows have been right there all day. Oberlin trying to transition quickly. They do get a couple throws, but now it settles. Great around break. They go inside break this time. Can't continue. Goes four side space. And nice defense from Akron. No continuation available. Their set is really jumbled right now. I don't know if it's a vertical or horizontal. Nice bid. And unfortunately can't handle it. They need to kind of get their stack set a little bit better. They're having some, some issues. Four side flow again from Oberlin. Kind of what they've been doing all the game. Looks like we're going to see Vert out of Akron again. Oh, actually that was a really good break, break side fill from Akron. They just couldn't get the disc to him. Yeah, now they're, they're pressing. Wow, that's a really good deep throw though. I mean, it was out of desperation, so there wasn't a great cut for it, but it, the throw was very nice. Good around. So Oberlin has done a good job of, of getting one around off from time to time, but they rarely actually have had a continuation this game. I don't know if that's that's Akron forcing it or just maybe Oberlin taking that for granted. That's a really good space pass, but really good defense. That, that pass is really good. I mean, as an offensive player, you just got to have a little more and just go after it. That, that defender just never gave up on it. That's great. Great hustle. That is the one thing I would say that Oakland can work on from this game. Um, I mean, they've shown that they can throw a break pretty easily, 
Um, but they just haven't had great flow out of it. It's been kind of like one big break that gives them a lot of breakside yardage. But then they just go back to the foreside and chisel. I mean, I guess they're taking what they're what they're given here, and that's three four side uncontested looks. Pretty good defense from Akron there. Finally, does force a reset. They just go. They just go four side four side again. Yeah, in, in all, actual ultimate, that would have been a turn. <laughs> turnover and fuck weirdly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I can't he, believe yeah. he did. Definitely has a little more credence because there was a stoppage. But there, like, he signaled that he was ready to pull. Yeah. And it came out of his hand, right? Yeah, come on, man. That's a good. See, that? that's a. Is that's that breakside? Wow. That's breakside. That, that's the final throw that I. It's on 55. Oh, that's And it looks like they have just a basic mushroom call, but they throw it away. That's unfortunate. Inside break. Four side. Good poach from Akron to stop that four side. Akron, but they they punt. They pay them. They pay the man there for. This. That's just a D. That's just a D. <laughs> uh, I think a pick was called. I think a pick was called. Or injury? Injury? Yeah, injury. So we're going to go all the way back, folks. Like this should go back, right? Scott Captain yawning. Yeah. Alright, we get to just reset after the injury call. Again, Oberlin finished it through the disc, Acker not so much. One big swing, and they continue. There we go, that's what I've been looking for the whole time. Gets them the full field swing. Now they go back to their four side chisel, which they've been able to do all night. So injury call comes back. Hey Jacob, tell us what to do. What's happening? End zone. I'm back. Hey, let's look for a swing. Let's look for a swing. All right, they're able to force a swing here. Yep, travel call. That's that's a good call. Looked like he took a step forward. He really wanted to throw that. This is really helping Akron on D here to get the resets. And they just muscle their way to the fourth side. Dan, first side, Dan, 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 Dan. And they just throw it high to the tall guy. It works. Nice little handler work. Nice inside. 
Oh, Ooh, wow. Just threw Ooh. up a pizza pie there to, uh, to the break side. He's able to bring it down. Oh, man, we got five seconds. Three, two, one. Not nice.